Now Watson. That's caught by his tight end, Jordan Akins. And some room to work. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. They've got a first and 10 at the 11. Touchdown! It's complete. It's Deshaun Watson with a touchdown pass to Brandon Cooks. And the Texans have taken the early lead. Well, the underdog here is showing no fear. Great opening drive. Now, we weren't in the locker room for the pregame speech, but I will guarantee you somewhere along the way, the head coach said, let's just grab a big stick and smack them with it and let them know we're going to be here today. They may be the, the team that's supposed to be superior, but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 24. Murray now to throw. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. An explosive 38-yard pickup. That's a well-thrown ball right there. This is where arm strength pays off because he's got to be able to get the ball both downfield and to the sideline. And that's one of the more difficult throws for a quarterback. And he put it right where it needed to be. First down, Murray. Eluding the pressure right. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. On play action, it's Murray. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Murray now. And able to find Kirk complete. Touchdown, Cardinals. Christian Kirk, 31 yards. And the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game. Extra point good by Prater. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Here's a second and two now from the 33. An option run here for Watson. And this play a lot like the previous one, thanks to that stout Cardinal defense. Back to back, they've been tackled behind the line. Watson, off play action. Got this into the hands of the tight end, Jordan. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. And that is incomplete. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. Throwing on third down, Watson. They'll find Miller. That's complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. 
Watson on first down. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than... Oh, this is blocked. This is going the other way. But he will not be able to bring this one back in the extra point attempt. Unsuccessful. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Texans hands team recovers. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. Also it may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. 16 yards on that one and also a Texan first down. Here's Watson. Under oh, pressure, and he will go down. Sat back at the 38. Isaiah Simmons. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. Escaping the pressure right. Fighting his way through contact. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Good yardage there on the scramble, and all of a sudden they're left with a third and two. Much more manageable. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Aikens. Touchdown, Texans. Jordan Aikens, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans are an extra point away from taking the lead. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Out of his end zone comes Andy Isabella. And he returns this to the 22. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. We have witnessed touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. We'll see if the offense can continue this uptick here. And I know you're looking at me funny. You're wondering when I'm going to get upset watching these guys go up and down the field, aren't you? <laughs> I wasn't looking at trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Zach Cunningham with a pick. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Well, I tell you, you can't fault the pass protection here. He had all day to throw, and he just couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. And quarterbacks will tell you that after a while, they start getting antsy back there. So this is just a great job defensively to stay with these receivers as long as they did. Darquez Denard there to make the tackle. On second down, right back to Lindsey. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. That time on the outside, pretty nice job as a cornerback to shed any would-be blockers and make the tackle. And think about the praise we're giving him, what his coaches are giving, but how about the respect he gets from his teammates to be a complete corner who doesn't just cover receivers, but also tackles ball carriers. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play caller because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, 
A lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give him a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. A minute 55 left to go in the first half of play. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Give him 30 yards there. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now, here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. Open man, Green, he's got it. Touchdown, Arizona. A.J. Green there to make the grab. And the Cardinals have retaken the lead. The fly route works for the TD grab. And you know what the receivers love to say, if we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did all the way into the end zone. And then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the strike. And that is caught for the two points. And of course, on the two point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there and it works. So pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver, ball's put on him, two points for them. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. The Cardinals say they have it. They do. Arizona recovers. Well, they just scored. They got the lead, and they decided to keep their foot on the accelerator, so to speak. Scouting, scouting, scouting. They had to have seen something in their preparation for this game that told them in this situation, if they get the look they like, let's go ahead and go for it anyway. They like being bold. And looking for Kirk, but this pass is intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. And that now two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Watson. Screen pass to Lindsey. Lindsey, first down and more than that. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And that was a beautifully executed screen pass. It let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front, completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space, the big guys leading the way. Now a first down throw, Watson. He'll check this down to Johnson. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he's all the way down to the 13-yard line. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half.
from the red zone now. Watson. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. They get ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. They hand off to their big tight end. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Brevin Jordan. Fine work there on the touchdown run. And the Texans have once again taken the lead. Extra point by Fairbairn. Up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbair now to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third time. Picked up by Justin Reed. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. And he'll find Aikens there, complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Here's Watson. Going up top for Miller. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he did not reel it in. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. The final shot before the break. Watson. He's going to go deep for Conley. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Buda Baker with a pick. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. With both of these offenses having their way, it's not likely they'll need to be doing a whole lot at halftime. But the defenses are definitely in need of some adjusting. And for the call of the second half, let's go back out to Brandon and Charles. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And they're down on the scoreboard, sort of a sloppy first half. And Coach Davis, if you were in the locker room, what would the message have been? I think I'd have to go with something you don't ordinarily go with in the NFL. That's a little fire and brimstone. You've got to fire these guys up. Make them understand what's going on out there. They were so sloppy in the first half. Too many turnovers. Tighten things up. Maybe get in their face a little bit. Get in their grill. And then send them back out. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. The tight end, Max Williams, the intended receiver. Third down here. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. From the gun on third down, Murray. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the corner, Bradley Roby. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door 
and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. On first down, right back to Lindsey. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Tackled by Isaiah Simmons. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. And now Watson throws another interception. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. Connor going to get it again on second down. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Well, sometimes it's hard to take your eyes off this guy at the linebacker position. He can really cover some ground, and he did there to make that play. And I have to think that when this play began, the running back thought to himself that this looks promising, but that feeling certainly didn't last very long. Super play defensively to lock in on the best route to his target, and he stopped him for no gain. And this will be swung out here for counter. Three yards the game there, second down. To throw, it's Murray. He'll get this to Connor underneath. Oh, Connor loses it, and the Texans scoop it. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. Defense gets in the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. On second and goal. Watson. Trying to improvise, and he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Deshaun Watson taking it in from seven yards away. And the Texans use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Out of his end zone comes Andy Isabella. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All came long. They struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> He'll air this one out for Kirk. And he's just throwing the ball up for grabs now. Fortunately, that one's going to fall incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Murray. And the reception made by Green. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 18 yards the gain for number 18. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Eric Murray. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been... Yeah, you could take